Hello and welcome to Math 151, Section 91, Calculus for Business and Social Science. My name is Matt Lathrop. I'll be your instructor this semester. You'll be hearing from me throughout the next 17 weeks through emails, our conversations and discussion boards, announcement posts, things like that. But I just want to take a little bit of time to give you an orientation to the course and in this video in particular talk about some of the course expectations. The page that we're looking at here is the announcements page, which is the page you should land on every time you log into our course in MLP. If this announcements tab ever isn't expanded, just go ahead and click on that just to get an idea of any recent information, updates that have been posted um, so that you're up to speed with the rest of the class. Some other information on here that's useful to take a look at would be this overall score and submission progress window. Right now, those should both be empty or at zero because we haven't completed any assignments yet. But as you start to complete assignments, these numbers and this graph will start to fill in, giving you always an up-to-date picture of where you stand in the course. So this overall score will always be up-to-date based off all of the work that you've completed so far. So every time you log in, you can just get that quick check as to how you're doing, how you're performing. You can always also check that same information and get a little bit more detail in the gradebook. The Start Here page is where you found this orientation video. After you complete this one, you'll want to take a look at how to navigate the course, checking your progress and getting help, as well as the campus safety video for a little bit more uh, orientation information. But for right now, what we want to do is focus on the information in the course syllabus to again talk a little bit about some of the expectations, what you're going to be required to complete this semester. We're only going to hit the highlights. Um, I would really encourage you to go back and read through all of the information in the syllabus, um, but we'll hit some of the key things to focus your attention on. First thing here is my contact information, which is right at the top of the syllabus. Uh, I have office hours Monday through Thursday, but if you're not able to make it in during those times, email is probably the best way to get a hold of me. I definitely try to reply to emails within at least 24 hours, typically faster than that. Uh, but just keep in mind that over the weekend it might take me a little bit longer to get back to you. Uh, but I do want to make sure you get a reply as quick as possible so that we can help you get past whatever um, issue or difficulty that you're stuck on. We're going to pass over the catalog description to talk a little bit about the required materials. So what you'll need for this course will be online access to MLP, My Labs Plus. You can either purchase an access code from the bookstore or when you try to complete your first assignment, you'll be prompted to enter a password and to purchase one, at, purchase an access code at that time. You'll also need a graphing calculator, either a TI-83 or 84. There are some other models of graphing calculators that may be okay. Um, if you have a different model, you just want to check with me, but TI-89s won't be allowed. The other thing that you'll need is online access to wolframalpha.com. Uh, this is a free site. Uh, I believe there's also an app for phones, but I think there's a fee associated with that. But the website is completely free from any internet-capable device. Uh, in terms of optional materials, the, there is a physical textbook that you can purchase if you want. However, an electronic textbook is included with your access to MLP, so the physical textbook is just an option if you would prefer to have a physical textbook to read versus an electronic one. We're going to go ahead and skip down to this use of technology section. So we're logged into MyLabs Plus right now, and I mentioned Wolfram Alpha, that other website. So it's probably fairly obvious that technology is going to be an important component in this course. And what you're going to want to make sure that you have is a backup plan. So malfunctioning technology or access to technology uh, may not be considered an acceptable excuse for late submissions. So you want to set up in advance some sort of backup plan in case you're personal computer crashes, your internet connection goes out at home. So uh, one really good option would be to make use of Heartland's computer lab as a backup, uh, but it could also be going to a friend's house, going to a coffee shop, somewhere so that you have access and you can still get assignments completed by the due dates. Your attendance and partic participation are going to be important to this class. While we don't meet face-to-face, -face, um, completing weekly assignments, being regularly involved in the course will be important. We will have online discussions, though those won't be popping up every week, usually about every third week or so, so a little less frequent. But some opportunities to get some feedback from you, have you interact with each other as a class, and that sort of thing. Those will typically be graded based on participation, so as long as you're making a meaningful attempt to answer any prompts, you'll receive credit for those discussion posts. 
There is a drop policy for this course. Anyone who hasn't logged into MyLabs Plus and attempted at least one assignment before the drop date will be dropped from this course. The other time that you could be removed from this course would be at midterm. So if by midterm you failed to access the course for two weeks without appropriate notice, failed to fully participate in more than two module discussions, or failed to meaningfully attempt at least 70% of the assignments due by midterm, then you could be withdrawn. I'm hoping that neither of those policies are anything that we have to worry about this semester. Um, hopefully you're engaged and continuing to work week to week. Um, you'll remain in the course throughout the semester, and then at the end we'll be able to look at this, look back at this as a successful semester for you. But just so you're aware. Most of our assignments, pretty much all of our assignments, will be completed through MyLabs Plus. That includes weekly homework. Um, there will be a deadline for homework assignments. Um, up until that deadline, you can receive full credit. After that deadline is passed, a 10% penalty will be applied to any homework. But that means you should be able to receive at least a 90% on every homework uh, assignment this semester. You get unlimited attempts at those homework problems, so even if the due date is passed, you can still rework them to get to that 90%. And if you're completing them before the due date, hopefully to earn 100%. Quizzes will also pop up every non-exam week. Um, initially, you'll have one attempt at each quiz with a practice quiz available to help you prepare. Uh, but if you earn a 95% or better on all of the week's homework assignments, you'll unlock a second attempt. So a little bit more motivation to tackle the homework, um, since obviously that will just help you be pre better prepared for the quiz, but also make up for maybe a first attempt at a quiz that doesn't go as well as you would have liked. We'll have three regular exams, uh, as well as a cumulative final throughout the semester. Each of those exams will consist of two parts, a theory portion and an applications portion. The theory portion will be similar to probably most math tests you've taken in the past, a paper pencil test where you're required to show work and how you arrived at a solution. In the applications portion, that will be completed through MyLabs Plus. You'll be able to make use of Wolfram Alpha. So what that website is going to do for us is generate calculus-based results. So rather than us having to go through all the computations by hand, it will generate results and our focus will be more on uh, correctly applying and interpreting those results. So the course will have that split. We'll be talking about both as we go through. And then you'll be tested on those in two separate pieces. Uh, both portions of the test do have to be completed in one of Heartland's testing centers. Um, and we'll get more information out as we approach that first exam uh, in week four. You'll also have an opportunity to improve a low exam score with the cumulative final, uh, which is required in order to receive a passing grade in the course. If you beat out your lowest theory exam or applications exam from a score from exams one through three, what I'll do is replace that lowest exam score with your percentage on the final. So if you have one exam that just doesn't go as well as you would have liked, you have an opportunity to make up for it and give your grade a nice boost at the end of the semester, assuming that final exam goes well for you. Uh, we have some tentative release dates for exams. Um, there shouldn't be much reason why these would change, but if so, I'll let you know. So we have um, assignments that will be, or exams that will be opening up on Tuesdays and then do the following Tuesday. So each exam will be open for about an eight day window. Uh, the grading structure here, where 10% of your grade is based off homework and discussions, 10% for quizzes, and then 80% from the exams and the final, split across those two different groups. There are some important dates for you to keep in mind. Um, the last day to drop with refund, and the last day to withdraw from the course. So, sort of similar to that drop policy and that withdrawal policy. Hopefully that's nothing we have to worry about. Um, I hope to see you all still enrolled in the course at the end of the semester and doing well. But should something pop up, um, just so you're aware of that. The FERPA statement uh, gets at protecting your academic privacy. Um, what this means is in order to communicate, in order to share information with you about your progress in the course, I have to know that I'm only talking to you. So any emails that you send me need to come from your Heartland email address or communication needs to come through the MyLabs Plus website. If you're emailing me from other sources, things like that, um, I'll unfortunately have to ignore those since I can't verify that that's who you are. Uh, then what we have is a week-to-week -week calendar um, showing what we'll be covering each week. You'll see a general trend of about three weeks of covering content, 
and then in a fourth week taking an exam over that material. That trend will continue throughout the semester until we get to the last four weeks. Uh, we'll have three weeks of new content, and then rather than taking an exam just over that content, we'll hit that cumulative final exam, which will cover those three modules, but also all the preceding information from the class. So if you ever have any questions throughout the semester, please feel free to contact me. Um, I look forward to working with you, and like I said, hopefully seeing all of you through to the end of the semester, and looking back on this uh, for each of you is a successful one. Thanks.